Well, some food pantries in and around the metro are having to close now for the safety of their volunteers. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar has more now from Shawnee Community Services. Right now, this food pantry does remain open, but they do have concerns. Most of their volunteers are in that at risk population, but they know the community needs them now more than ever. A lot of the food on the shelves at Shawnee Community Services Pantry comes from grocery store surplus. With the mad rush for people to stockpile groceries, there wasn't much for them to donate for a while. They didn't at first. It was very slim. They, uh, we didn't have any bread even uh, because that was what everybody was buying. We had lots of desserts because people weren't buying desserts. Um, however, it's settled down now and now they've had about the usual amount of product. Sylvia Terry says that's just one of many issues she's faced trying to continue serving those in need throughout this pandemic. There's lots of need all around the community and we can't fill all the need and no one place can fill all of the need. Okay. Demand for pantry pickup has increased. Many clients are not comfortable shopping on their own anymore and there are a lot of new clients. People who haven't asked before are having to ask from the uh, layoffs and furloughs. All of this while having fewer volunteers because most of them are at high risk for COVID-19. There are several other pantries. One's a major pantry that's had to close for that exact reason. Mm -hmm. Most of the volunteers are elderly and in the high risk group. Clients are missing the volunteers who aren't able to come in. There's a couple that I haven't seen since this they instituted this, but I think they're self isolating themselves because of this coronavirus and they are in their 80s. But David Thayer is glad they're staying home and staying healthy. There's quite a few people here that I really care about. He says a lot of people are relying on this pantry staying open. He's grateful they're still able to help. There's other communities in Kansas that aren't doing as well as we are. Shawnee Community Services is not welcoming new volunteers right now, even though they are struggling. That's to limit the number of people inside the building. So if you do have the means to help, they say the best way to do so is to have food delivered or donate money. Reporting in Shawnee, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News.